You mentioned the bank earnings, usually the signal of the start of earnings season. We have Netflix tomorrow, one of the first big tech players reporting. How do you think these MAG7 names, like in NVIDIA, for example, will perform this earnings season? Do you think it can sustain the recent run-up that we've seen? So we feel that these companies should be a core position in the portfolio, no doubt about that, right? And potentially the earnings will be good as well, but it's all about expectations. So again, in the short term for the retail investor, very difficult to predict. But the problem right now is that a lot of people, the concentration risk in the market, you know, 20%, more than 20% of the S&P 500 is in three stocks. And people don't wanna sell these stocks. They wanna hold on to them forever. Books and profits, no individual stock should be more than 5% of the portfolio, and invest in other areas of the market to protect yourselves. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about a controversial MAG7 stock, that's Tesla. You actually own Tesla stock. We've seen this massive rally, but it's clearly a volatile name. There seems to be some optimism, though, over robo-taxis, AI automation. Where do you see Netflix going, I'm sorry, Tesla going in the long term? I think we, we, we like Tesla. We, are, we have it in clients' portfolios, and we think in the long term it's going to do well. But it is a volatile stock, so you should limit your exposure and be exposed to it in a very diversified way. But we think there's a lot of exciting things in the future for Tesla, including the robo-taxi that you mentioned. So yeah. it, it is a core position in our portfolio. Diversification, always key. Adil Zaman, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you.